What's up everybody? We got this juke still here that had the TCM uh, causing calm issues. Um, you've seen that in my one of my other videos where anytime the TCM would talk we'd see like a dip in the, the CAN bus line and it's just some crazy signal coming out of it. We diagnosed that. We uh, got a used TCM uh, but it's the wrong one. Um, and we're gonna go over why it was the wrong one. Um, and we used parts from it to fix our, our original TCM. And then we found out we still had some issues with this thing. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna go over the repair of that TCM. And now that I've got that TCM fixed and working, I then found out about this issue right here somebody had there's a awful drive module that's down under the driver's seat and this was full of water i've already took the module out to get the part number off to order another one but uh, we've got to get another harness and stuff and it's kind of crazy this thing wasn't giving me any data issues because somebody had already found this before and unplugged it out of the, the there was still water down here too but somebody unplugged this and got it out of the way so it kind of dried back out um, you can see somebody had been prying on this i don't know what they were going to try to do with it but uh, somebody had already found this i assume Maybe they found this due to a battery drain issue, possibly. Somebody might have found this before, but instead of fixing it, they decided to unplug it, and it was just kind of like sitting up here, kind of out of the way. But I've got another unit ordered, and I'm getting a harness out of a junkyard for it, and Hopefully this thing will be fixed, but enjoy the video about me fixing the TCM. All right, what's up everybody? This is the TCM out of that Nissan Juke. And I just took it out of the case. Got a breakout box to power it up. And also using the PicoScope I'm going to try to diagnose this board a little bit. This is the one that had the bad uh, CAN bus waveform. Um, I'll put a picture of it up. If I still have a picture of it, I think I do. But we're going to try to fix this board. Um, at least try to figure out where the fault is with it. So I've got the Pico scope hooked up. And what I'm wanting to do is kind of narrow down, is it the transceiver or is it something else? So, uh, what I want to do is just kind of check our, our five volts. There we go. Check our ground. There we go. And then this has two inputs. There we go. There's our good input there and right there. So as you can see, uh, we've got that same repetitive uh, spike. So what this is missing though is, is missing a load on the circuit. So this thing's not really doing what it should yet. Um, and then we've got our output side here and here so what i need to do is put in a resistor on here to let it think there is more modules on the circuit um, so i'm going to put a 60 ohm resistor on there i had one in here i don't know what i did with it Well, don't know where I put it. 
I've lost it. Get another one. Just uh, pretend two pads here, and I'm just going to solder on a resistor right onto the board. Turn this off. Bent my legs backwards. So I'm just going to tin the legs here a little bit. back on and we'll see we'll see a difference in our pattern so here's our input so you can see if I stop this you can see how now we've actually got a packet these are packets now instead of just the single spikes or single dips so now if we go on our, our output side Here's our can high. Let's go to a little better voltage scale here. So if we stop this, this is that garbage signal that was we was basically seeing before. If we check our can, that's can high, so let's check our can low side. There you go, same kind of garbage. So this right here is an oscillator basically so that basically tells me that the fault is the can transceiver here shouldn't really be anything else on this side of the circuit that that would be causing this kind of garbage signal here that we've got so what I'm going to do is I've got quite a few donor boards here um, from old modules that was replaced or whatever. And I just use the old ones for parts. I'm going to find another can transceiver. We're going to take this one off and put another can transceiver on here and see if our signal cleans up. Okay, so I got me a another module which is wrong these I couldn't actually find one with this part number so I just got another one for those that don't know there's two different wiring diagrams and one of them your data is on 31 and 32 and the other one is on Thirty-three and twenty-three, as well as they also have different power and grounds, and they're just different. So, what I did is I hooked this one up to the uh, the breakout box, checked this one. The chip actually goes right here, so I put my sixty ohm resistor on here and checked this one, make sure the chip was good on that one. 
transferred it to this one and now with it powered on let's turn it on here uh, go to my high side well, actually that's the low side there's my high side so now we've got good clean looking data there is some noise on it but that's because I'm running off a of power supply just a little wall power supply so so now this module is fixed so I'm going to put it back together we'll put it back in the car and give it a try All right, still here with this juke. All right, as y'all just seen, I got the TCM repaired with a donor TCM, um, swapping the COM chips. Put it back in the car and still had an issue. Um, when the car was turned off or not running, my COM lines looked great. They were perfect. Cranked the car still had a calm kind of a dirty signal it was better but what was happening was anytime the tcm would communicate my bias voltage would would dip so i would lose my my two and a half it, it would dip down to probably about one and a half i'd still have a, a good data packet but my my bias voltage dropped so i was like what what's going on with that and then it was only when the, the car was running. So I was a little frustrated and went back through and just kind of rechecked everything and found that my grounds were not as good as I thought they were. Uh, so here's a little clip of that. So I had tested my grounds with Tesla, but it doesn't mean anything. This, I don't know if you can see that little bit of flicker. There we go. They're just sitting there. Both of them. I can't see that one, but both of them just sitting there. So, um, I guess at some point the engine had been took out of this thing or something where the ground wires that run in behind the intake manifold pretty much. Uh, were taken loose and never retightened and I believe that is actually what killed the the TCM comm chip to begin with because as you can see in in the before and after picture um, of the, the data there there was definitely an issue with that comm chip uh, it wasn't making square waves, it's making, I think they'd call it my, like a sawtooth wave or something like that. It wasn't a square wave, it was, it was rounded to a point. But, anyways, we uh, got that all sorted out. I got the grounds fixed. Now, engine running, we have perfect data. Um, and, that, and then we, as you see in, in the kind of the intro, we still got an all-wheel drive module that's been rusted out so uh waiting on that but uh i don't know if the, i'll do any more video on this thing or not hopefully when i get that uh all-wheel drive module in and the pigtail for it hopefully this car is gone because i'm tired of looking at it so until next time see ya